On December 20th, Taraji P. Henson followed in the footsteps of Monique and exposed how the entertainment industry doesn't pay Black women what they're worth. Even after they win Emmy Awards and Golden Globes and are critically acclaimed, they still have to fight to get paid what they're worth. And a lot of times they're on the losing end of that battle. Well, in a recent interview with the New York Times, Taraji P. Henson expressed her frustration about the treatment of the actresses in The Color Purple, specifically criticizing the decision to provide rental cars to the cast of The Color Purple and require them to drive themselves to work as if they are not movie and music stars that could easily be stopped and robbed. They were really trying to cut corners. She said, quote, they gave us rental cars and I was like, I can't drive myself to sit in Atlanta. This is insurance liability. It's dangerous. Now they robbing people. What do I look like taking myself to work myself in a rental car? So I was like, can I get a driver or security to take me? I'm not asking for the moon. They're like, well, if we do it for you, we got to do it for everybody. Well, do it for everybody. It's stuff like that stuff I shouldn't have to fight for. End quote. Taraji also reflected on the broader struggles she and other Black actors face, saying, quote, it wears on your soul because you fight so hard to establish a name for yourself and be respected in this town to no avail. With Black films, they just don't want to take us overseas, and I don't understand that. Black translates all over the world, so why wouldn't the movies? I have a following in China of all places. Y'all not going to capitalize on that? Don't everybody want to make money here? I'm not the person that pulls a race card every time, but what else is it? Tell me, I'd rather it not be race. Please give me something else. In a different interview, Taraji opened up about her decision to fire her entire team after her role in Empire. She expressed her frustration and disappointment with her team's lack of strategic foresight and initiative post-Empire. She highlighted that her character, Cookie Lyons, was a fashion icon and extremely popular, yet her team failed to secure any significant endorsements or deals that could have capitalized on this popularity. This lack of planning and opportunity exploration led her to make the drastic decision to let her entire team go. Taraji explained her feelings and reasoning behind this decision. She said, quote, where is my deal? Where's my commercial? Cookie was at the top of the fashion game. Where's my endorsement? What do you have set up after this? That's why you all haven't seen me in so long. They had nothing set up. And she told the New York Times, hopefully we'll get to a place where people are getting paid what they're worth. At least can we start there? So that's why I fight so hard. When I was younger, I would be so full of fuel when I talked about it because I'm thinking I'm making a change. Then 10 years later, I'm still having the same conversation. It's a joke at this point. I watch these studios and I'm like, you're playing right in my face. I see it. And they say, you need a new team. Fire your team. And she said, well, I did that and nothing's changed. So what is it? Now, you guys, personally, I wish it wasn't race, but I think that it is because like she said previously, when black actresses win awards like the Golden Globes or the Oscars, it's treated like a fluke. Like when Monique won a Golden Globe and an Academy Award for Precious in 2010, entertainment executives treated it like it was a fluke, like it was an unusual streak of luck and not the result of talent and hard work. And I think they had that opinion because of their internal biases towards black women and black people. So personally, I do think it's race. And remember, you can always support Taraji by purchasing products from her hair care line, TPH, which I will have linked below. I took another look at her products recently when I realized how functional she made some of the bottles. So I'll link to them below. Now, I also wanted to talk about La Chance. La Chance is a Tony Award winning actress known for originating the role of Seely in the Broadway musical The Color Purple. And she's recently spoken up about royalties for the song I'm Here. She expressed that she contributed to the lyrics of this song and is seeking her royalty fee for these contributions. She mentioned that she's been receiving many direct messages and posts questioning why she had been left out of the press as the original Sealy in the musical adaptation. 
And she acknowledged the success of the movie and expressed her happiness for all involved, but reiterated her desire to be compensated for her contributions to the lyrics of I'm Here. She detailed her involvement in the creation of the song during a workshop for the show, where she worked with the musical's composers, Brenda Russell, Ali Willis, and Stephen Bray. Lachance described her process stating, quote, I said, and these are the lyrics she made up, I want to flirt with somebody. I know I got my sister. She can't be with me, but she's still my sister, and I know she loves me and my children. Those lyrics were infused into the song's creation as embodying the character of Seely and were integrated into the lyrics by the composers. But despite this substantial contribution, Lachance has not been officially credited as a songwriter on any professional releases of the song as of yet. And also, while we're talking about the color purple, there have been headlines that it's not been doing well in the box office, and it's not necessarily true. It surpassed the box office expectations with an $18 million domestic opening, the largest on Christmas Day in over a decade, before falling to a $7 million gross on day two and a $3.8 million by the third day, all according to Forbes. For its first full weekend in theaters from December 29th to New Year's Eve, the movie grossed a total of $13 million, but it saw a 74% earnings drop from its first Monday, according to Box Office Mojo. But the phenomenon of a massive opening drop into a low performance isn't unheard of in the film industry, and some of the highest grossing movies have fallen after their opening weekend, including this year's horror hit, Five Nights at Freddy's. So you guys don't believe the misleading headlines that The Color Purple is not doing well in theaters because it is. It's following a familiar pattern of having a great opening weekend and then tapering off. Anyway, you guys, leave a comment and share your thoughts on what Taraji had to say about her treatment while filming the movie The Color Purple and what the actress Lachance said about wanting her fee for her contribution to the music of the movie. So I have a special invitation for those of you who are content creators or aspiring content creators, whether you're creating content as a hobby or if you're creating content specifically for your business. I am now doing one-on-one -on -one consultations, one-on-one -on -one sit downs, just me and you, where we start with a very thorough assessment of your channel and then move into a 45 minute virtual call, which is the consultation where we collaborate to craft a perfect personalized strategy for your YouTube channel. The personalized strategy is a customized, typically 15 to 20 page growth strategy tailored for you, tailored for your channel. And it includes content creation guidance, like tips and insights on creating content, especially content that engages viewers. So click the link below this video and in the comment section to sign up today.